We then have Laura and yet again, I don't know why she's here, but she is. I don't know what George is going through. I don't know who he thinks he is right now. My man thinks he's part of the mafia when really and truly he is part of nothing. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Now, as you guys know, earlier this week, India's Boohoo kind of like a dinner, let's just say event took place where she invited some islanders. So I thought I'd get into it, you know, where it was Obi perhaps, go through the outfits, you know how normally it is with these islanders events. I go through them thoroughly and you guys love these type of videos. So I thought why not do one for India as well and just sit back and relax and you guys can enjoy this, you're enjoying your Sunday night. Now before I get into this video, please do subscribe, click that button for daily consistent content and follow me on my Instagram, please, Murad underscore Murali. I'd really appreciate it. Now, for those of you guys probably wondering why I'm eating, I mean, popcorn. Um, yeah. Why am I eating it now? I don't really know. But. It's a moment. Mm -mm. We have India, the star of the show. This, okay, wow, wow, wow. Did I really just say that? Wow. Wow. Anyways, and we have India, who is star of the event, and um, we have us, you know, with this black kind of like tight kind of dress that she has on here. Um, I like that she's come for a very simplistic, safe theme, but at the same time, I'm not really a fan of this left shoulder here. I don't know what's going on. I think it just not really complicated. I don't think it, it um, complicates the outfit. I think it confuses the outfit because I, I don't see what it does. Again, one sleeve is covered, one sleeve is completely, you know, sleeveless. And I feel like with India, it definitely works with her. I feel like it kind of mirrors the Molly Mae confusion that we all saw where she was standing there and my girl, we didn't know what she was doing, but it's okay. We just, we we'll just pray for her. Um, anyways, yeah, so I feel like that kind of sleeveless sleeve look here does actually suit her. I do like the bag. I think it's a bit chunky, but it's okay because it's all black, so it's a safe look. But it's just that left part, I don't know what is going on here with this little thing. Like, what is that? It just looks so out of place and uncomfortable, and I think it just ruins the look. And as somebody who is literally the star of the night, it's your event, it's your line, you're with Boohoo, you need to be the best dressed here. From what I'm looking like, I had highly doubt that you are, unfortunately. Um, and Tommy did not make the appearance, neither did Mora, but I believe these two had probably had other kind of, you know, um, situations they had to deal with because they weren't in attendance, or maybe India did not invite them, who knows. We then have Anna here rocking these PVC kind of red tights here that we have and then we have the shoes which I like and we have the bag and this blazer. My only issue is this leopard top. The reason why I say so is because I feel like we have way too much red going on here. I feel like her face is much better here. I didn't mean in a rude way, no shade, no tea, but I feel like the makeup is far less relaxed. She's giving us more of a relaxed, chilled look, which I feel like is better. My only issue is that leopard top because we've got PVC red, you know, tights, and then we also now have a red top as well. It's too much going on, again, from that part. I would like to have seen, like, instead of a leopard top, just a simple white top, then you've got that kind of helps to accentuate the feature, which is the PVC, rather than the PVC kind of, you know, creates an imbalance because you've got a red leopard top. Which one do I look at? Which one do I want? Too much is going on. I'm tired, I want to go to sleep, I'm over it. This is the kind of chain reaction one, one might have. I like the fact that her hair is just down, it's not really pulled back. It's a very chilled look, I do like this look, but I just feel like I wish that leopard print was just something a bit different. We then have George, I don't know what George is going through, I don't know who he thinks he is right now. My man thinks he's part of the mafia, when really and truly he is part of nothing. Um, I don't understand what this look is. I'm a bit confused. Are you going for the skater look with the vans? But then you got this kind of jacket. You got that very. I hate people come to a Boohoo Man events with these the most baitest Boohoo Man kind of outfit. Like come with something else. They have an entire line. I'm sure you can work with it. I feel like that kind of T-shirt is a very lazy cop out. Just have the Boohoo. Man. Unless he was told to wear it, I don't even know. But from what I'm seeing, it's just a very. La I feel like this outfit is a very lazy outfit to wear to an event. Um, I just feel like you could have done way more better. The jacket itself isn't that bad. And his hair is slit back, which I like because it's a different look for him. We haven't really seen that. Um, his jawline obviously looks great and he's just, it's like a, it's a very confident look, but I just feel like 
the man's shirt is a bit of a cheap kind of cop out and then the jacket itself is a bit different to the vans like i don't know what's going on here he doesn't look terrible but at the same time i just feel like i've seen him wearing better so you know a bit disappointed in that respect we then have laura and yet again i don't know why she's here but she is and we have this outfit which i feel like is actually quite cute like it suits her despite the events that took place earlier a couple days ago um Obviously, this is just about the outfits. I feel like what she's wearing here is nice. The fit is nice, but my favorite is the color. I think it works well with the skin. And I also feel like it's just matching. And I like the fact that this um, we have the sleeves here, which are a bit more, have a glossier shine. And the shoes complement it. That bag, she, she's really forcing that Balenciaga. She was original that she's wearing Balenciaga. I feel like she's really forcing that. You do like, you, like just relax. But, you know, she's looking cute. You then have Belle and, yeah. She's excited, basically. There's excitement here. You can tell that she, 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 she thought she was gonna be the queen of the crop. Like she, she, she thought, she, you know when somebody dressed like they're gonna be that one, but little did they know they look like a mess. There's excitement in this picture. I can, I can smell it because really and truly the top half is amazing. Face beat, hair is great. The bra kind of like top is great as well. And, and I like the necklace, everything from that is great. Even the um, little watch and the little mini bag. But these trousers, and then the color of these shoes. Why did you decide to wear the color of these shoes with this outfit, please? Why? Why? I feel like she's more than she's performed in previous events. And these trousers aren't bad, but I just feel like with this outfit, I wish the trousers were just, I wish she wore tight trousers. Not, not PVC, but like tight, kind of like similar, similar material to this, tight trousers and just black. Kept, keep it safe. You look cute from the from the hips upwards, so just keep it cute for the rest. Why get a bit too excited? I think she wants she wants to go for like an edgier kind of look at this time, as opposed to a really relaxed or long overhaul tee. And again, I feel like the shoes were just she really thought she was doing some fashion designer stuff, and I don't know what's going on. Looking like art attack. Um, anyways, then we have. Harley, I want to say Harley, or is it Haley? Let's go with Harley. Um, she looks much better here, because did we damn well know in the last event that I saw, she was looking like an absolute mess. I'm not, I don't know what that was. Like, I don't know how, yeah, whatever. But um, here she looks really good with like a nice polka dot, kind of like see-through. It's more of a relaxed, you know, angelic kind of look. It's more easy on the eye, nothing too complicated. It's a very safe outfit. You can't really critique it as much because we haven't got that much going on. But the fact that not much is going on, I like that because again, it's easy on the eye and just, it's just a very safe look. The hair looks good, it's relaxed, it's down, it's not pulled up or anything. It's just very simplistic and I, and I do like it. It's a very good outfit. We then also have Joe and Lucy. These two are just becoming really part of the team furniture. Joe is, this is what I mean, he's really wearing boohoo. You can tell that Joe is rocking the most boohoo kind of outfit there is. And I feel like it does suit him. He does look good in it, so hats off to you. But Lucy, I feel like you could have done way better than this. I feel like, again, it's just a really cheap cop out. Like I'm bored, like I'm not really looking for what you're wearing. I've seen you in better. You could have done way better than this. And I feel like you did. And have amber as well and i feel like amber it looks great in what she's wearing again simple all black maybe that's a theme who even damn well knows i feel like i've seen amber in this and um, the issue with for me with amber is i see a lack of versatility I see a lack of versatility when it comes to her outfits at events. I feel like she sticks to what she knows and she plays the safe zone. And I feel like I would love to see her exploring different outfits, dresses and etc, etc. I don't think a dress really would be appropriate for this um, dinner considering that everybody else really isn't wearing anything like that. But I would like to see her play herself out that zone. I haven't seen a collection so perhaps she has. But that doesn't take away from the fact that she does look good here. I do like the bag here, especially the golden chain. I feel like it works well in contrast to the all black. And you know, it's cute. We then have Kendall as well, who was from the last season. Again, a very similar-ish to an extent kind of look as Harley. Very relaxed, angelic. I do really like the sleeves, that kind of part where she's showing the shoulders. Um, it's a very similar kind of tint color to Laura and the bag itself I feel like doesn't really match the outfit it's she just kind of just grabbed it and the shoes you know they're just heels they're great her hair looks nice but again it's a very simplistic outfit I feel like she could have worn better but it is what it is we have you one day as well it seems everybody else wearing black she also is wearing PVC and she's wearing black PVC tights which with, with nice heels I do like the bagginess of the um, 
the top that she's wearing. It kind of creates this like effervescence flow about it. You want to know more about the top. You want to look at it for a bit longer because it's a bit different. It's not, you know, the same kind of norm of a typical sleeve. There's a, it's just a bit overflowed, so you want to know more about it. The hair looks great as well, and her face looking be. I don't know what's going on here with the eyeshadow. I can't really like, I'm not really into makeup like that, but I don't know, it's a bit too orangey, I don't know. But in, apart from that, I feel like her top looks really nice and she's her PVC shorts as well. This is what I mean, like her, she looks good in PVC shorts. Anna looks great in PVC shorts as well, but I feel like don't, she was wearing like a really leopardy kind of print and I feel that that just takes away from the bottom half of the outfit and then you don't know which one to look at. And here, she's wearing a top that complements it. It's a bit different, so it's just more easy on the eye. But yeah, I thought I'd do a small little mini review. Everybody's saying, you know, it was Obi banned, was Obi banned from the event, and you know, he is part of a competitive brand that he's working with, which is ASOS. So I'm sure they would not want him to be going to events, you know, in relation to Boohoo. It's a bit of a shame that they're both with competitive brands because it only fuels the rumors, but that is really truthness. I feel like these two are doing absolutely great in their relationship, and you know, hats off to them, and hopefully, many, many moons of happiness for them as well. I don't know why I said moons. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this review. Let me know what your thoughts are on my review of, you know, the fashion critiques of their outfits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please do comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. Click that button for daily consistent content. And follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. And let me know what your thoughts are on, you know, do you guys agree? Do you guys don't? Did you guys just like these outfits? Did you, maybe you like India's outfit? Who knows? Who knows at this point? What we do know is that Michael is definitely not attending these events. I'm actually so dead, you know. I'm actually really dead. I didn't even think about it. After all these events I talk about, I completely forgot that Michael just does not attend any of them. He's really just been whitewashed and just forgotten completely by the cast. The disrespect is ridiculous. But I'm here for it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys soon.